Hey, Wolfpack. Angela Wolf here, and it is Behind the Scenes Wednesday, and today's really behind the scenes. In fact, I might look like a little bit of a hot mess because I just finished running across the street in the rain thinking that the FedEx guy dropped off my bolts of fabric to the neighbor. It's so embarrassing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so I have just a quick show for you today. If you've never been here before, say hi. Uh, you never know. Your neighbor might be fishing next to you today, actually, because it's pretty good fishing weather or uh, sewing. Hey, Susan, great to see you. Susan, you're going to laugh at this one. So I was sitting here working in my office. I'm trying to get a bunch of things done before a few days off, right? And <laughs> I see the big FedEx guy show up. I have the best driver ever, but it wasn't the usual driver. And I knew that because I couldn't hear loud 80s rock music, which is usually what I hear coming from this big old FedEx truck. <laughs> and I look and I, I don't recognize that guy. He's over across the street. And by the way, I'm in Southwest Michigan and it's pouring rain, right? And I look after he leaves and I see big bolts. So I thought a fabric <laughs> leaned up against their front door and I'm thinking, um, I think you, you all know I've been waiting for like a couple bolts of really expensive fabric, some nice tweeds, right? And I look and my sister Julie called and I said, you know what? I think that's my fabric. <laughs> I really do. So now I'm probably going to show up on somebody's ring doorbell. They're going to think I'm snooping in their packages. <laughs> and guess what? Yeah, it wasn't my fabric. It was carpet. <laughs> I think I think they were actual carpet like rolled up that looked just like fabric bolts. So if anybody knows my neighbor across the street from my office, which I've never met that just moved in, he's going to think I'm the biggest creepo ever. So anybody's ring doorbell that goes off and says that some crazy lady running around in the rain looking at your packages. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not what it appeared to be. And I left them on the porch. How's that? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I know, seriously. So, a couple of things for you today. I'm gonna to be showing you a few things on the Linda tunic. I'm actually not going to sew it because I have a few things I have to do for the collar, but I am going to draw a winner for the lace collection. I'm going to announce what's happening on Sunday, besides the big B-Day day. And um, I told you guys I was gonna share this. So Susan and Steve sent me this for my birthday, and you gotta see this. I love this. Because this morning, I opened the back door, whistled to the squirrels, and guess what? I have five Blue Jays that come now too. So the five Blue Jays come, and now we're up to seven squirrels. So I need to <laughs> buy bigger bags of nuts. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I did not ring the doorbell, Donna. I did not. I looked at the packages uh, and I came back because I was going to be late for the show. It's all it's your guys's fault. <laughs> totally. I know. So, um, hey, I have to tell you. Oh, thanks, Delia. <laughs> so first off, shout out to Karina. Karina has created a wolf pack that can go over your photo on Facebook. It's so cool. She created a purple one, which I'm sure that was for Arnell. <laughs> and she created one that's clear, which is the black and white, proud member of the Wolf Pack. So thank you, Karina. You can find those in the Facebook group, in the uh, Fashion Sewing Club group, and in the Angela Patterns group. So today, by the way, we are live on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter for all of you that are bored and in your car driving somewhere. I heard the airports are packed. Definitely. <laughs> All right. So um, I'm going to do a drawing for that. And I want to show off some of your work. And Sunday is going to be a big day. I'm going to give you a few little teasers out there. Now, I've kind of said these to the Fashion Sewing Club, but the rest of you haven't heard this yet. So usually I put together a whole birthday sewing week where we sew all week. And those of you that saw that batch of fabric over there, I have these did not were not dropped off at the neighbor. I think I'm up to like 40 bolts that have rolled in for the holidays. So I will be sewing, yes. But I'm getting ready for it so easy TV and uh, a few other things. So I decided, there's Karina. You were thinking of Arnell with the purple. And there's the photo. You can see it on Karina. Proud member of the Wolf Pack on there. Very cool. I love it. Okay, so I... um. 
have decided to give back for my birthday. And it's going to be, let's see, 18, uh, about 20 days of fun. And we're going to call it hashtag social hop 2020. So this is what you're going to use. S-E-W, by the way. There you go. That is going to be our hashtag. So there are so many awesome other businesses that I have worked with through the years that have decided to pitch in and give things away to you. So on the 18th of December, mark your calendar. I believe it's 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There will be a one to two hour show, depending on how long it takes us to draw all of these fabulous prizes. And this is how you'll enter. On Sunday, I will announce the entire event, okay? And every single day from then on Sunday until the 18th, you will hop to a different business's Facebook and Instagram page and or if you're not on both. You also need to enter at the official um, contest, which I will be sharing that on Sunday. So be sure to sign up for my newsletter if you haven't, because that's where it's going to come out. And I'll also do a quick live show. For, so there's three things you're going to have to do. Sign up officially. And then each day you'll follow along to each person's uh, different businesses page. And why would you do that? Well, because they might have specials for you that day. You just never know. I'm not saying they will. I'm just saying they might. And a lot of them also host live shows and tutorials and things like that that you might not even realize. And so you'll get all of this all the way up until the 18th. Sound good? All right. Well, you'll just have to wait till Sunday to hear what's coming. But I can tell you that... Your fashion sewing and designing room is going to be greatly improved if you win some of these things. That's all I have to say. I agree, Marianne. I think so, too. Oh, great, Kelly. No delay today. Isn't that fabulous? It is going to be exciting. And Karina, by the way, speaking of Karina and all my friends that are not in the USA, you can enter as well because I think there's only two or three things that are not qualified for outside the US just because they're big to ship, but that doesn't mean it's not an option. But everything else is digital and things that will totally be qualified for you. So I think it's going to be awesome. So I have to share just a couple photos that popped up. And those of you that missed this last week, I just have to share this again, because this was really fun. Let's see if I can bring it up here. It's right. Make sure I have the right one. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I'm getting there. Here we go. There. Okay. Did you see this? This was the Linda tunic from last week that I popped in here. It's the same exact fabric that I'm working on. If you take a look over here, I think it's uh, this camera right here. See that? There's my fabric. And here's the other. Very similar, very similar. But what I want to show though is um, I love her collar. So let me just see if I could. There we go. The rivets. A lot of you were asking about the rivets. They're super easy to insert. And I love the tie. This was Darlene's. Darlene, you did such a good job on this. And Someone else asked about her rolled hem. So this is actually inside of the Angel of Patterns Facebook group, which you should join us there. It's really fun. It's totally free. The Fashion Sewing Club's not free, but Angel of Patterns is. And there is Karina's proud member of the Wolf Pack. Karina, this is so cool. So she has one that's clear that you can drop over your photo. And you know we're going to be having a contest on that as well. So on the 18th when we draw, if you have one of these over your photo, there's going to be something extra for you. It's going to be the, we should have called it the Wolfpack <laughs> social hop, but uh, that's okay. That's too long of a hashtag. Too long to type in. All right, so there was another one here. And Sharon. I love this. So this was Sharon's Linda Tunic, and I love the embroidery that she did. Isn't that gorgeous? I know there were so many good things that you guys posted this week. And then this, I had to bring this up again, Clovis, because everyone was asking about this. The fabric looks amazing. This 
really looks like you just walked right out of a boutique with a very expensive outfit. And she sewed this. Look at that Linda tunic. I absolutely love those sleeves. So she gave a good photo here and she looks amazing. <laughs> I'm not going to give away the carpet on Sunday, Steve. I'm going to try not to, okay? I'm going to try not to. <laughs> Although I will have to leave a note for my neighbor so he doesn't think I'm a creepo, right? That's all he needs is some lady in the <laughs> building across from her sneaking over to their house. Speaking of, Susan, thank you for the socks. I already ordered the thin socks that go underneath. And I, let's see, Jan O'Malley, are you on here today? Because you made my day. You know that I've been hanging out in the kitchen. Not that I do anything very good in there, but I've been hanging out in there. And look at this beautiful thing she sent. I love this. And I have to ask, where did you find this? Or did you make it? Because I've been looking for um, fabric like this to put little towels over the stove. And I don't know where you found this. So I'm going to have to message you. So cute. And then an awesome birthday card. <laughs> so thanks, guys. Uh, Susan. I uh, love the knowledge. I think I saw an episode a while back on applique. Was it in this group? So, Susan, was it on? Um, hmm. We have done a few things on applique, and it probably was here. It might have been on Brother's page because I'm a brand ambassador for Brother, and I do Facebook Lives over there, too. So you might want to check that out. <laughs> Warm tootsies for the. Yes, I agree. Uh, what kind of fabric is the towel? You know, Michelle, it feels almost like a uh, cottony. Let's see. Oh, wait, there is a tag. So you didn't. Let's see what it is. Cotton. I guess I was right. Cottony. It almost feels though like a cottony linen. It's so soft. I love it. Uh, Stacy, it's not very pretty over here either, by the way. Yeah, okay. So uh, there was just a couple more things here that I got to share with you. Since Wednesdays are always my favorite because I can share behind the scenes stuff, right? This was Janet's. Let me share this up here with you. Janet, love it. So this is the Chloe Trench, and I love this fabric. I was thinking when I first glanced at this, this is one that you did the Chanel style, and I don't think you did. And I love the matching bag. And I think, Amy, I don't know if you're on here, Amy, you actually posted something in here on your jacket where you added the new lace collection. Oh, Taffy, is this a new Linda tunic? I haven't seen this one. That's cute. What a great fabric, too. Oh, a very soft cotton. I must be into cotton today. <laughs> very nice. All right, and let me see if I can find Amy's because she added the new lace collection in there. Let's see. Hmm. Well, Patty had a good day. <laughs> I just saw this Patty. She got fabric from me. PE Design 11, the new magnetic hoop from Brother. Wow, you really got ahead a good day at the, um, <laughs> your FedEx guy was really good that day. Kelly, she did knit those socks. Here, I'll show them closer again. Aren't they awesome? I couldn't knit a sock. I mean, I could sew you a sock, but I couldn't knit them. Oh, Wanda, thanks. CSAC towels. I'll look that up. Oh, and Laura had, gave another one there too. Thanks. Don't you? I mean, I used my grandmother used to always have those, and my mom did too. And I thought, you know, I want to embroider. I have some really cool designs, and I want to embroider them on there. All right. So let me just see if I can find Amy's real quick on here. I think we saw some of these other ones. Did you guys see Esther's last week? I know some of you weren't here last week, so 
This is so beautiful. So this is the Linda Tuna. She hacked it just a little bit. I love what she did to the sleeves. And I love the embroidery. I love the two-tone on there. Don't you think so? Hey, Cindy, great to see you. Glad you can catch it before you're out in. Hey, Diane from Michigan. Is it raining or snowing where you're from? Because it sure is here. Let's see, Kate, what do you have to say? Kate says, you said in a previous lesson, is it, it's possible to lower the back of the neck on the Linda tunic to stop it from pulling forward. Please go over that again. So Kate, I believe that was in the Fashion Sewing Club where I gave a lot of details on that. So I don't know if you're in that, but you might want to go back and watch that video. But basically, on your dress form, you're going to go here. Let me just take this off. Oh, I agree. I'm stepping on my tape and my fish that I'm attaching to my Christmas tree. Like you put the little light bulbs right in the top. I'm surprising Wynn. That's going to be his tree for the year. And then, in, and then for Valentine's, I'm putting my own um, stuff on there. <laughs> All right. So this isn't the Linda Tunic, right? This is the Bella, the new Bella, which I'm going to wear this week. So once you put the Linda Tunic up here, you put it on and you just cut back. So if you need to give more room here, you just cut it back. And then you're going to need to lengthen your collar. Because if you cut this out, your neckline is going to be longer than what you originally had. Does that make sense? So you mark your center back. I would just put a little slash here to make sure you don't let out too much. So I would put like one slash in the center back. Just like maybe a quarter of an inch first. Try it on. And then if you still need more, then go a half an inch. And then if you still need more, three quarters of an inch. Um, just do it that way with just a little slash. And you, if, if you go to like three quarters, you might need a slash here and here and here just so you can get over your neck. And once it feels good, then measure that, transfer that to your pattern. And then your collar, which is going to go up here around, is going to need to be longer. So you'll have to measure from the front here. I'll just take you over to here. This is where, how about this camera? Here, I'll just walk you through where you would actually measure them. So here's the one that I'm sewing and I obviously didn't make it very far since I saw you last week. I'm gonna finish this though because I'm wearing it for Thanksgiving. I surged the edges on the inside, see? I mentioned that I was doing that and now I need to press it. I guess I could just press it here and then show you. except my iron's not on. It'll take a minute to heat up, but all right. So on your back neckline, I'm just gonna lay this in half, okay? So here's your center front. The collar would be attached from the back all the way around to the front, right? So you do a snip in the center back and just lower it right here and then even it up at the sides. So even if you went way down here, you would even it up at the side. You wouldn't go over on the shoulder. Okay, and then you would measure from here all the way around to your new cut line and then your collar, you'll have to lengthen and you would lengthen your collar at the back, center back of the collar. Does that make sense? Not up here, back here. So on the inside here, you might've seen this last week. I've already surged around these edges. I've decided I don't need a top stitch. I do need to pick pick out the rest of my pink thread from sewing with you guys. And I'm going to just press the seam allowances into the yoke area. I still need to surge this edge and then attach my sleeves. Now last week, one of you, I saw a couple questions after we hung up last week and I don't think everybody understood that once I sewed in my sleeve, so let me get this pin out of there. Is it on? All right, it's on. All right, get that steam out. Give it a little steam, use the clapper. See how nicely that lays? All right, 
right, and let's do this one too while we're at it. A couple of you emailed me last week or you messaged me on Facebook about uh, this iron. And one person, I swear, I went to answer you and you disappeared. So I think I accidentally hit delete instead of send. So if I didn't answer you on a question, just resend it to me, okay? Seems to be a trend every once in a while on Facebook. All right, so once I sew in my sleeve, which I have here, I'm going to surge that entire thing. And yes, I'm going to sew the entire side seam, which is different, you know, than you would for a jacket if you had a set in sleeve. So then I'm going to sew the entire side seam. So here's from the sleeve down and the sleeve. So you would start, you could either start here and sew down and start here and sew that way or just sew all the way down to the end. So that's all I have left to do. Attach my collar and then hem it. And I need to decide with this beautiful velvet am I, if I'm going to hem this with a narrow rolled hem or if I'm going to use a rolled hem on the sewing machine. I haven't decided because a rolled hem on the serger would look really good. And I have some beautiful silk thread that might match this. And I also have, let me see if it's the right color. Yeah, it's pretty close. So I have this wooly poly, which I can put in the loopers of my serger, which will make it nice and full. And look at how close this color matches. Now that was, that's just called luck because there's only 60 colors and I don't have some of my favorite colors yet in there and uh, that looks great. So I'm probably gonna do the rolled hem with the serger and the woolly poly. Yeah. Uh, Dobsy, is the Bella more fitted than the Linda? Is the Bella more appropriate for a wo woven? So no, the Bella is for a knit because it is fitted in the bust area. Okay, and it has to pull over your head. And so it is made for a knit. Now it's not as fitted as the Rouge T. And the big difference is the sleeve is loose. So, and it has elastic at the bottom. So it's kind of a bell. That was where the bell came from, kind of. Bell sleeve. It's not really a bell, but it it's a loose sleeve that cuff, cups on your wrist. And then the neckline is more of a V and it has a facing instead of a binding. Does that make sense, Dobsy? So you, I would use, you don't have to use a super high stretch knit, but you're going to need something that has stretch. Now for the sleeves on this one though, you could use, you don't have to have a stretch fabric for the sleeves. Now I used mesh on here. That's mesh. And then I added the embroidery to the mesh before I cut it. Uh, you could use silk chiffon. You could use any of those things. All right, let's see. Uh, what did you decide to wear under the tunic? I think I'm going with a black, a black uh, spaghetti strap tank. <laughs> Hello there. Everyone saying happy Thanksgiving. Michelle, that iron is the bomb. <laughs> oh, good, Cindy. I I'm glad you like your clapper. I'm just making sure I'm not missing any of your questions. Esther said she embroidered before she put together her top. Thanks for I saw some people asking that. Kathleen asked you that. So Esther answered you. <laughs> All right. Uh, Cindy, does the Bella come with the purchase of the lace embroidery? Yes, it does. So if you buy the lace embroidery, which is the second collection, Touch of Couture, this pattern comes with it in PDF form. So many of you, many, many, many actually, my email box kind of exploded last weekend, said, please, will you start putting, try to get those booklets back in? I know I, the PDF patterns are easy because I don't have to keep a lot of stock, but I know many of you like to keep those and you're collecting them. So I just checked with the printer and the Bella will not be back until December 14th. But that's the bad news because that's still a couple more weeks. But the good news is that the Lacey, which is this top right here, you saw me, I think I wore it last week. The Lacey, which comes in a tank, short sleeve and long sleeve. And I have this one with mesh. You've seen the one with lace, which is 
that's the name. Or you could use this for color blocking, which would be very cool. And the Shirley are all being printed in booklet form. So there will be a full paper pattern for all three of those that will be available on December 14th, right before our big giveaway. So definitely. Paula, where can I buy the clapper? Well, you I have just the place for you. Go to uh, AngelaWolf.com and you click on shopping. So I have, there's like five different websites, but if you just go to AngelaWolf.com, it's all there. I think I, here you go, right there. Um, oh, thanks, Susan. AngelaWolfPatterns.com is another one too. And there's a coupon. So um, there's a coupon Black Friday 15, I think it is, but I will tell you that on Friday, there's gonna be one very special coupon that will be available for Friday, Saturday. Let's see, it's on different things. So you're gonna, it, and I'll post it in the Angel of Patterns group and the Fashion Sewing Club. So Fashion Sewing Club, your discount's a little bit higher. But I can tell you that on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, there will be four special deals that I have not done before. So you might want to uh, stay tuned on that. Right now, you can get 15% off all the time until Monday with Black Friday 15, I think it was. Yeah, okay. Karina says she loves PDF patterns. She printed, cut, and sewed the lacy after. You did? I didn't see that. I guess I should check to see if you posted a photo. And I think that's where... Amy posted her jacket too. Oh, wait, Denise, how did I miss this? I think I commented on it. I just forgot to bring it up. So Denise bought this fabric in our fabric stash sale, which was so much fun. Uh, for those of you that are thinking about joining the Fashion Sewing Club, we do these fabric stash sales where they get heck of a deal on fabric that I'm just getting rid of or new fabric that I bring in and I don't put on the website. So it's just for the Fashion Sewing Club. Well, Denise bought this. And Denise, I don't know how you sewed it so fast, but you had this finished before I even shipped it pretty much. But this looks great. So this is the Delilah top. I love this. I do have a little bit of this fabric left too. I'm going to make something with it too. All right, and let's see, I think. Oh, Kelly, this is pretty. Is this the Rachel? Yeah, this is the Rachel. Somebody else made a Rachel today too that was pink. I didn't see whose name it was because I, I was just logging in. Bye, Angie. Happy Thanksgiving. That's beautiful. All right, and... Here it is, Amy's jacket. This is so cute. And look at, she added the embroidery collection to the edges, which is exactly why I designed the embroidery to embellish a jacket. Love the lining. Oh, Kay posted that one. Thanks, Susan. Now I just have to find it. I could have sworn that it was right here. Here's Beverly's Linda tunic. Super cute. Beverly, now I know why you love the color blue. It's like a perfect color for you. Very pretty. All right, I'll have to find K's. K's, I love the color of K's. I love the, oh, here's Stacy's Linda tunic. You guys finished your top faster than I did. Well, I, I kept trying to save it for the live shows, and then I didn't get the collar ready for today. Your tree looks great, too. And I love the polka dots. Great job on your top stitching, too, by the way. Very, very nice. All right, I'm just gonna go right back up to the top just to double check that K, K's isn't showing up here. 
I'll just type her in. Because it was really cute. It was the Rachel. Nope, must be in another group. Uh oh, Stacy, your daughter did the tree? Oh, here it is. I went right by it. So here's Kay's Rachel. Isn't that cute? I love the contrast. Very, very, very cute. All right, so I don't have too much more to tell you except for um, I'm going to do the drawing for the giveaway. And I have a fun little spin wheel we'll do to get that winner. And also, um, I just wanted to fill you in that the announcement, there's a lot coming out the next few days. So the special discounts for Black Friday, Saturday, Small Business Saturday, don't forget to um, visit your small businesses online or in person. And Sunday for my big birthday, I'm going to be having a very special something for you guys. And Monday for Cyber Monday. I will be on with SoyMachinePlus.com uh, for, I think it's at 1.30. I'll catch you there. But there's a lot of live shows coming up. No, Trudy, I haven't sent the invoices out. I've sent a lot of them, but not all of them. So in case you're wondering. And I have not emailed anybody from the Fabric Stash Party yesterday. That will be a little bit later today to see if you want your fabric. And also... Mark your calendar for the week of December. I think it's 14th through 18th. There are going to be live shows every single day with last minute holiday ideas from decorations to gifts, <laughs> you name it. But I've already seen a lot of the things that everyone's going to be demoing. It's going to be awesome. So birthday sewing week is going to be more like a birthday giving month all the way up until the 18th. All right, let's see. Pam, no notifications for Fashion Sewing Club. So you better email me because everybody, I, I put everybody's email address in there. So the last email went out maybe a week, two weeks ago. So I can check and make sure if, and anybody that has a Gmail account, oh my gosh, Gmail is terrible. Go check your junk folders. Bye, Glenda. Um, Stacy, I, I'll post it on my blog cause they're all different times and I am sending a newsletter out this weekend. So yes, it will be in a newsletter and in the Facebook groups. Got it. Uh, I'm not going to send an email with the schedule, but I'll post it on my blog. So I'll give you guys notice, advance notice. All right. And yes, there are discounts. So right now. If you, don't, if you can't stand to wait till uh, Friday, <laughs> uh, it's Black Friday 15. But you might want to wait until Friday. Is there something at 1.30 today? This is 1.30 today. Michelle? I think it's 1.30. Yeah, that was today. And now let me do the drawing. See if I can bring this up. I found this fun little... Um, little thing here. So this is, let's bring this up. So everyone that actually helped that embroidered lace before the new lace collection came out, I told you if whoever entered that uh, went in for a random drawing to actually win the lace collection. So even if you've already purchased it, you just get a refund. Oh, Rose, that's a great idea. A mother daughter. <laughs> That is a good idea. Oh, Deanna, don't worry. I My mind's like that, too. I have to have a reminders for everything. All right. So I think there were 49 of you that actually, let's see. 49 people participated in the lace designs where you embellished or designed something with lace. So by the way, did any of you watch Wheel of Fortune last night? Vanna's dress is so inspiring. I'm going to have to make that into a top. It had lace, but the lace was like down here and the rest was fabric. So cool. All right. So one to 49. Ooh. You ready? 
Just say spin and we'll spin. And then I have everybody's name in a spreadsheet. So whatever number comes up, that's who wins this. I think this is how we're going to do the actual giveaway on the 18th too. So by the way, when the contest opens on Sunday for you to enter, you may enter once on the official form, and then every single day you can partake in every all the vendors' different pages. All right, good luck, everyone. <laughs> Let's see. Thirty-two. Who is number thirty-two? Scroll through here. Oh, well, congratulations to Dani. Congratulations, Dani. I can never say your last name right. Duchesne, Duchesne, Duchesne. Oh, gosh, Dani. I totally clobbered that. I'm so sorry. Uh, D congratulations, Dani. And I'm just reading because this was from that whole contest, also. Uh, Dani not only did the lace collections, she has joined my classes on Angela Wolf Academy, Pattern Review, Craftsy, and the Fashion Sewing Club. My goodness gracious, I think you got them all. You haven't missed anything. <laughs> so thank you and congratulations, Dani. So, oh, there you are. Yes. Is your birthday today, Dani? No way. It is? How did I forget that? Tell me it is, because that's pretty cool. I didn't even know that. <laughs> and obviously the software didn't either, but it must have some good vibes going over the internet. So happy birthday. And everybody else that has, it is her birthday. And we just talked about that yesterday. So congratulations, Dani. So I'll email you uh, shortly after the show with a link uh, for your collection if you didn't already buy it. I can't remember off the top of my head if you already have it. So, all right, you guys have any more questions for me? Otherwise, I'm going to go and um, I'm thawing out a turkey, believe it or not. Not that I know what to do with it, but at least I know how to thaw, right? Yes. So everyone have a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving. Be safe. Um, I know a lot of you are not going anywhere. Some of you are. Either way, stay safe. I will uh, be chatting with you between the newsletter and those that asked how to get on the newsletter. Go to, this is the website, Angela Wolf. AngelaWolf.com. That's the only place you have to go. From there, you can go shopping. You can go to the blog. You can sign up for the newsletter. So if you go to AngelaWolf.com and on the far right side, scroll down just a little bit and you can sign up for the newsletter. If you're wondering if uh, you're signed up for the newsletter, just go there and type in your email address and it'll say, yes, you're already signed up or it'll just accept that you can sign up because that's where a lot of this communication is going to be coming. And then you also have the Angel of Patterns Facebook group. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day. Happy Thanksgiving, don't eat too much, I agree. And I will see you, well, I won't see you live in, for a few days, but at least enjoy your few days and watch your email box, okay? Make sure I don't get stuck in your junk. Darlene, happy belated birthday to you. See you, Trisha, Linda, Connie. Great to see all of you. And all right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everyone. Now I got to go across the street and apologize to my neighbor and introduce myself. <laughs> the snooping that's trying to take your carpet that looks like AKA fabric.